explore the world of Barnaby Jones, a classic 1973 TV series featuring the seasoned investigator tackling crime with a no-nonsense attitude. Have you ever caught an episode of this show? Whether it's a trip down memory lane or a recent discovery, Barnaby Jones has left its mark on viewers. Now, reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. So, buckle up for a ride through the captivating world of Barnaby Jones, where mysteries unfold and justice prevails. Your thoughts and anecdotes add a unique touch to this classic series. Share your experiences with us. In the 1973 TV series Barnaby Jones, the narrative unfolds around the seasoned detective Barnaby Jones, portrayed by Buddy Ebsen. The show initially kicks off with an episode from the Cannon TV series, where Frank Cannon is hired to investigate the death of Hal Jones, a colleague of Barnaby. Hal had taken over the detective agency from his father, Barnaby, who had decided to retire. Following the tragic homicide of his son, Buddy Ebsen, accompanied by his daughter-in-law Lee Merriweather as his secretary, steps into the role, giving birth to a successful television series. Despite physical limitations due to his age, Barnaby proves to be mentally sharp on each case. The character of Ebsen's Barnaby is portrayed as a wise and shrewd investigator, confounding many adversaries who underestimate him. The initial appeal of the show resonated with the older audience, appreciating the depiction of a seasoned detective navigating through cases. However, as television always seeks to capture the youth market, Mark Shira joins the cast as J.R. Jones, Barnaby's nephew, injecting a new dynamic into the series. This addition allows for in-house handling of more physical aspects of investigations. Buddy Ebsen's career trajectory, spanning various roles from a musical dancing performer to Jed Clampett of the Beverly Hillbillies, showcases his versatility as an actor. His portrayal of Barnaby Jones adds another layer to his multifaceted career. Ebsen's ability to reinvent himself throughout his 95-year life serves as an inspiration to senior citizens everywhere. In summary, Barnaby Jones, with its intriguing characters and well-crafted plotlines, remains a testament to Buddy Ebsen's enduring presence in the world of television. The show successfully captures the essence of a seasoned detective navigating the complexities of crime-solving, blending drama, and detective work seamlessly. During the making of the Barnaby Jones series, an interesting musical turn happened. At first, Jerry Goldsmith, a well-known composer, wasn't too impressed with the pilot. He thought about not doing the music. However, he eventually agreed and made the catchy theme song and scored the pilot, which ended up being longer than his other projects. A cool change in cars happens throughout the series. Barnaby and Betty keep getting new Ford models every year, which adds a touch of realism to the story. On the flip side, JR sticks with his reliable 65 Ford Mustang, a small detail in showing his character. What characters wear unexpectedly says something in the series. If someone wears a loud sport coat, it doesn't mean they're a killer, but it often suggests they might be up to no good. Pimps, drug dealers, or con artists like to show off with bold patterns or bright colors, giving a hint to the audience. All these small details make the show more interesting for viewers. From Goldsmith's music changes to the different Fords, and the hints in what characters wear, they all come together smoothly in the story of Barnaby Jones. Throughout the series, you'll notice Barnaby looking a bit sleepy in some scenes. That's because Buddy Ebsen, the actor playing Barnaby, used to take naps between filming. JR's initials stand for Jedediah Romano, adding an interesting layer to the character's development. This small detail shows how much thought went into creating the story. The show ended after eight seasons because not many people were watching, and Buddy Ebsen wanted a break from playing the character. His decision played a big role in the series coming to an end. When the show's music was being made, the composer, Jerry Goldsmith, wasn't initially impressed with the pilot. Eventually, he agreed to work on it and created the catchy theme song. A cool detail in the series is how the characters always get new Ford cars each year. On the other hand, J.R. sticks with his 65 Ford Mustang, showing his character's reliability. The show gives us hints about characters through their clothing choices. Bold patterns or bright colors might not mean someone is a killer, but they often suggest something about their intentions. This attention to detail makes the show more interesting by giving us clues about the characters. In a nutshell, Barnaby Jones, despite ending, is a great example of the little details that make a show interesting. 
From the actor's habits to the music and small details in the characters, it's a fascinating look at solving crimes and seeking justice on TV. Barnaby Jones opted for a 1973 Ford Limited as his ride, adding a touch of realism to the series. The classic car became a subtle yet essential part of the narrative, symbolizing his enduring journey through the crime-ridden landscapes. Interestingly, AB's strategic move in the show's last season pitted it against another Quinn Martin production, The Streets of San Francisco, on CBS. The gamble backfired as Barnaby Jones outpaced its competitor in ratings, securing its continued production until its eventual cancellation in 1980. After completing Barnaby Jones, producers considered a unique crossover with Buddy Ebsen's earlier show, The Beverly Hillbillies. The proposed TV movie plot involved millionaire Jed Clampett's abduction, prompting the hiring of Barnaby Jones to track him down. While this crossover never happened, a similar storyline made its way to the 1993 big-screen adaptation of Hillbillies, featuring Ebsen in a cameo as Barnaby Jones enlisted to find the missing granny. The series also took an unexpected musical turn during its creation. Initially hesitant, composer Jerry Goldsmith eventually crafted the catchy theme song, turning the pilot into one of his longer projects. Meanwhile, the introduction of new Ford models each year for the characters, in contrast to JR's steadfast 65 Ford Mustang, subtly underscores character dynamics. In the world of Barnaby Jones, character nuances extend beyond mere wardrobe choices. The show cleverly utilizes clothing details like bold patterns or bright colors to provide subtle hints about characters' intentions. These small but intentional details elevate the series, making it more intriguing for viewers seeking to decipher clues along with the seasoned detective. As the series progressed, viewers may have noticed Buddy Ebsen's occasional drowsiness on screen. This peculiar detail stems from the actor's habit of taking naps between filming, adding a human touch to his character. Additionally, the show introduces JR's full name, Jedediah Romano, offering a deeper layer to his persona and showcasing the thoughtful development invested in character arcs. Ultimately, Barnaby Jones concluded after eight seasons, influenced by declining viewership and Buddy Ebsen's desire for a break from his role. The series stands as a compelling example of the meticulous attention given to seemingly minor details, shaping a narrative of crime-solving and justice-seeking on television. Barnaby Jones, the seasoned detective in the 1973 TV series, drove his 1973 Ford Limited through crime-ridden landscapes, adding a touch of realism to the narrative. The classic car symbolized his journey through the complexities of crime and justice. Interestingly, in the show's last season, ABC strategically pitted him against another Quinn Martin production, The Streets of San Francisco, on CBS. The gamble paid off as Barnaby Jones outpaced its competitor in ratings, securing its continued production until its eventual cancellation in 1980. Former President Richard Nixon, a major fan of the series, expressed his admiration to Buddy Ebsen in the 1980s, revealing that he had seen every episode. It's a sign of the show's wide appeal, transcending age demographics. The show's guest stars often included children of the regulars, such as Buddy's daughter Bonnie Ebsen and Lee Merriweather's daughter Kyle Allater. This familial connection adds an interesting layer to the dynamics of the series. The music in the series is noteworthy. Initially hesitant, composer Jerry Goldsmith eventually crafted the catchy theme song, turning the pilot into one of his longer projects. Meanwhile, the introduction of new Ford models each year for the characters, in contrast to JR's steadfast 65 Ford Mustang, subtly underscores character dynamics. The attention to small details extends beyond wardrobe choices. Bold patterns or bright colors in clothing often provide subtle hints about characters' intentions, enriching the viewing experience. As the series progressed, viewers may have noticed Buddy Ebsen's occasional drowsiness on screen. This peculiar detail stems from the actor's habit of taking naps between filming, adding a human touch to his character. Additionally, the show introduces JR's full name, Jedediah Romano, offering a deeper layer to his persona and showcasing the thoughtful development invested in character arcs. After completing the series, producers contemplated a unique crossover with Buddy Ebsen's earlier show, The Beverly Hillbillies. The proposed TV movie plot involved millionaire Jed Clampett's abduction prompting the hiring of Barnaby Jones to track him down. While this crossover never materialized, a similar storyline made its way to the 1993 big-screen adaptation of Hillbillies, 
featuring Ebsen in a cameo as Barnaby Jones, enlisted to find the missing granny. In summary, the show, with its rich character nuances and attention to small but intentional details, stands as a compelling example of the meticulous craftsmanship that shapes a narrative of crime-solving and justice-seeking on television.